the theme for today and the theme for the World Blood Donor Day is innovation comes alive. Innovation around blood comes alive. And that's what we are all about. So the first thing you see is a VR. Um, you can put this machine on. You will, you'll be able to follow our, our dispatch rider on a delivery, right? So you watch him as he goes in and out of traffic, going from one blood, one blood bank to the hospital. And it's called virtual reality technology. And you're able to sort of follow him instead of following him with a car, you can see him do it and, and you can actually participate in what we do as Life Bank. So that's step one. And then the next step you will see the, a new technology call we, that we're calling the Smart Bank. The problem we're trying to solve with Smart Bank is it's very important to ensure that blood is safe. So we've built this system that's powered by a technology called blockchain. So blockchain is a technology that powers Bitcoin. But that technology is not just for currency. That technology can be used for so many different ways. And the way we have used it is to make sure that the blood, that we can guarantee blood safety in our community. So this product basically takes blood, reports about blood, where it's collected, what tests were conducted, who conducted the test, when was the test conducted, what was the result of the test. We build this and we store it on a blockchain. So it's basically a smart chain in a link. And it's important because no one can edit, no one can change, no one can recreate or, or, or lie about the information that we've stored on the blockchain. It's information that cannot be edited. So if you want to edit it, you have to add another block to the chain. But the first block remains constant. This technology can help us sort of ensure that the, that the medicine that has been sold in pharmacies across Nigeria are not counterfeit, they are safe. We can trace it back to the manufacturer and we're hoping to work with both international manufacturer and local manufacturer to make sure that we really improve medical safety in our community starting with blood but also with um, addictive substances like codeine and tramadol and also with things like just general medicines um, in the country the third one is called labex uh, it's very simple uh, platform that helps hospitals order order these products very simple easily so labex is basically a simple system that helps you sort of um, make purchases of, of of like request blood in just 10 clicks so you don't have to make a phone call you don't have to like bother yourself you just like let's say you're in like a government hospital in like you know loose or i don't know uh, general hospital lassos and you're in a blood bank somebody just came in there like someone is about to die you can just in 10 clicks you can find out what blood is available and purchase and complete it you don't have to think about oh who do i call i don't have credits or there's no there's no service there's no there's no data you can just simply use that system it's called labex the next thing is this is the one that i'm most excited about we're calling the mama crash kit mama crash kit so one of the largest cause of the the largest cause of maternal mortality in nigeria is something called postpartum hemorrhage right so basically a mom delivers a baby and she starts bleeding and then she starts bleeding and then she starts bleeding within 20 to one, two hours within 20 minutes to two hours she might die depending on how fast she's bleeding right she only has about two hours to live so this is a huge problem in our community that's actually personally why i started this business and why i started this work in general this is this is what drives me every morning when i wake up this is the one problem that i think that i was born to solve right so we've not so now for a mom that's bleeding there are three things you can do for the mom you can try to stop the bleeding you can if you can't stop the bleeding you can transfuse blood if you can't transfuse blood you can give her a shot to try to get her blood to develop her body to start producing blood right so those are three things so we've created a box that has all three things inside it that very simple hospital has a mom that's bleeding you can just purchase one box and you have every single tool every single innovation in the world to save that mom's life in one box we have uh, so the first product to use is something called oxytocin it's a, it's an injection It's the first step you're supposed to take the second thing is you transfuse blood in this box you can fit two bags of blood in it in this box the third thing you need is something called transemic acid so that transemic acid is a, is a shot, is either an injection or a drug, and that, that's the last result. 
right? That's the last thing you do for that mom. And in this box, we have all three products. We're calling the Mama Crash Kit. Once the mama crashes, this is the kit you need to save our life. Uh, so that's what we have. Um, and then last thing we would like to show you is our donor platform. So one thing we also do is, as, as I mentioned, we're a business, but we really also care about um, blood donation. We really think that Nigeria needs to be the third. So there are three African countries that has 100% voluntary donors in the world. The first country is South Africa, next one is Rwanda, and the other one is Zambia. So there are three African countries that their blood system, all the blood used in their country is from blood donors, voluntary blood donors, not family replacements, not, not paid or commercial donors. And our goal is to get Nigeria to be the fourth country.